Man, Spurs fans showed up early for this one, hosting Dallas. Already a, a semi-rivalry, um, but they spoiled it. Dallas winning this one, 126-119. They scored the final eight points for the win. Bit of a dagger in that. Wemby finished with 15-5, five turnovers and one block. Luka, however, well, Luka and Kyrie, but Luka 33-14-10. and 10. Kyrie had 22 points. I know this is probably going to be considered a slow start for Wemby, given all the hype, but he did have nine in the fourth. Um, so let's just talk about what stood out. First of all, what stood out to me is how much this dude cared and how tough he was. Getting the crowd involved, everything he was doing, like he, he was feeding off that energy. You could tell he was excited to be there. And yeah, he struggled a little bit early on and he's going to do that. He's, he had five turnovers. He's going to he's going to make mistakes. And as far as like the expectations, they're, they're not unfair because he does show flashes like that is something that he shouldn't be doing at that size, <laughs> facing you up bang bang between the legs and knocking down a three but he did show flashes in the fourth quarter um and, and i thought it was a great debut i don't think we need to slow down any talks i just think you need to be patient with this guy okay. that, that, you know what i mean like just be patient but he's gonna have some huge games he's gonna have some bad games he's gonna have some bad turnovers there's gonna be a lot of different things going on in this kid's first year but i thought last night it was actually you know, they were so much fun to watch between him and Sohan and Kelvin Johnson. And the, the, this is a fun team to watch. And they're a lot better than I expected. I love it, man. Love it. It, yeah. that, was, that was my first time I saw him with some emotion, getting the crowd going, being excited. It was his debut. Um, a, lot to, a lot to build on, a lot to work on. But I thought the young guy played well. I like that. So none of us are lowering our expectations. We're just chilling. No, if anything, I they're like a top three team to watch I think going well, forward. I mean listen, well, they're fun they're well. exciting this kid's always what gonna get that that James. James. That was fast. <laughs> this guy he's exciting and he gave me he teased me a little bit last night with what's to come what I what I loved is <laughs> like when you when you watched him walking off the floor how upset he looked about the loss and, right. and the fact that he he scores nine points in that fourth in, in that fourth quarter like the jumpers that he was making I mean it was face-ups from 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 mid-range in the corner threes his, he's, I mean, he's got everything, but just how frustrated he looked walking yeah. off the court. There, w there wasn't any post-game dap up. He looked like he was frustrated about the loss, and it was just one game. This um, first one, he'll settle in. He'll, he'll settle in. <laughs> there, there's gonna be plenty this season. There's gonna be I mean, a few I, I more. Think, yeah. I, I think this is gonna be, like Chandler said, a fun team to watch. But this is clearly still a rebuilding, retooling team. Um, but I'm, I'm curious, like, what was Victor Wembanyama's first thought when he got in the locker room? Mm. Like, yo. I needed the ball right there. Like, why didn't I get the ball? He should have probably should have had more touches. Well, yeah, that's another couple. thing. I'd love to see him even more aggressive. He was very efficient, but the, as a young player, you tend to force, especially with him with all this pressure, all this expectations. People want to see him do more every single time he touches the ball, and he didn't, which to me so shows a huge sign of maturity that he's not going to press, he's not going to force, he's going to take what the defense gives him and continue to do what he does on that end. What do you tell a kid? I mean, he's he's obviously bigger than everybody else on the court. And I, one of the guys last night was talking about fouls are going to be a lot easier on him as well. They're going to call him a lot more because just the size differential. How do you just sort of temper expectations yeah. on that? Coming from overseas, I think with the rule changes and, and how we're allowed to play in the NBA, I think he'll settle in. Um, and it's, all, it's always been a personal game to kind of get it get rookies in foul trouble just to test their <laughs> temperament to see what what's there and kind of play those mind games playing chess a little bit but i think he's settling he'll be fine and he'll learn he's not going to get the same calls that a veteran guy is on the other team and it's going to take him time just to understand angles more and his physicality people are going to go right at his chest mm -hmm. right so he's and he did a great job first player second player of the game he, he comes help side blocks Kyrie irving's pull up like yeah. you don't really you don't see that don't often see that, right um, for just comparison's sake, Tim Duncan's first game was 15 points, 10 rebounds in his first.